All right, guys, today we've got the 2017 Honda Pioneer 1000 EPS in shell blue. We'll do a quick walk around, go over some of the specs and features on it, and fire it up as well. First, we'll start with the price. Uh, the 2017 did have a $200 price increase from the 2016, so instead of the old 15199 MSRP, they're now $15,399. And what you get for the extra money, the extra $200, it's pre wired for a winch already, which cuts down some time off of the previous four and a half hour flat rate. And then you also have a little bit thicker front seat. And then you also have an ECU memory to where whenever you put it in reverse, say if you were in automatic and in sport mode, when you put it back in high or low, it'll remember this go around what you had it in beforehand. Whereas on the 2016s, once you put it in reverse, it would forget which drive mode you had it in and go back to its default, which is just automatic, no sport mode. And it'll keep it in manual if you have it in manual as well. The EPS comes in right at $1,200 more than the base model, which the EPS name doesn't exactly explain a whole lot. You would think all you get is electric power steering, which is what the EPS means, but you also get color match body panels on the doors and the bed with the power steering, and then you also get paddle shifters so you can flip it over into manual mode. And then you also have the sport mode button for the automatic. The color options for 2017 are the shell blue. You also have red and then you have phantom camo which comes in at 800 more than the standard colors. We've got basic glove box. And this selector here is for the different drive modes. You have turf mode, which unlocks the rear diff. You have two-wheel drive, which locks the rear diff. And then you have four-wheel drive, which is the rear diff lock and front limited slip. And then you have four-wheel drive diff lock, which locks both the front and the rear diffs. And then right here you have your automatic to manual selector. And then also your sport mode button as well. And then for your park, reverse, neutral, high, and low. And then up here you've got, of course, your paddle shifters to shift up. I mean, shift down, shift up over here. And then just a basic layout in the gauge cluster that lets you know what drive mode you're in. Of course, fuel gauge, tachometer, gear position indicator when you flip it over into manual mode, and of course, all your warning lights as well. We'll wait to start it up here in a minute until I get done going over some of the other details. Another new change for 2017 are these new bars. And then with all Pioneer 1000s, you do have your hydraulic dump bed, which is a thousand pound bed capacity. Unless you're in California, then it's a 600 pound. And all of the Pioneer 1000s have a 2,000 pound towing capacity. And a shot of the rear suspension. And speaking of suspension, you've got right at 10.6 inches of suspension travel up front, right at 10 inches even in the back, with right at 12.7 inches of ground clearance. And there you can see the engine just a little bit. It's a 999 cc liquid cooled twin cylinder unicam engine, which is all new for the Pioneer 1000 starting last year. Makes right at 72 horsepower. And 
and all of the Pioneer 1000 three-seater models except for the LE come with these standard 12-inch wheels and a 27-inch tire. As far as height goes, they're 27 912s up front and 27 1112s in the rear. few more specs when it comes to length, width, and height. And they're right at 116.8 inches long, 63 inches wide, and 76 inches tall. And behind the passenger door you have the fuel cap. And it has it right at 7.9 gallon fuel tank. One more thing I forgot to mention while we're up here, as far as the brakes go, you have discs up front and in the rear, and they're 210 millimeter discs. And I mentioned that this one's right at 1200 more than the base model, and this one is right at $4,600 cheaper than the limited edition LE model. I've got a video that covers the LE Model 2 on the channel if you want to check it out. And one other thing I forgot to mention that you get on the EPS that you don't get on the base model is the tilt wheel. That's pretty much the basics on the 2017 Honda Pioneer 1000 EPS. If you want even more detailed specs, I've got a detailed write-up on my blog over at hondaprokevin.com. Uh, thanks for checking out the video, guys. And if you would, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see new, new videos. I've got more coming every week. Got another LE video and then a few more deluxes coming in the next couple days. Thanks, guys.